In this video, I want to take a look at using Trimble Connect and Trimble Access to sync data from the field to the office. Now, I made a video earlier, and I'll put a link to it in the description below, that goes over how to set up licenses for Trimble Connect um, and then use the Trimble Sync Manager in the office to create a project, create a job, load some data into that job, and send it to the field, then for the field guys to do some work with that and sync it back to the office. But in this video, I want to take a look at it from the perspective of the field guy, just on Trimble Access, logging in with his Trimble ID, with his license for Trimble Connect, and creating a project on the data collector, then syncing that back to the office. Okay, so I've got Trimble Connect open, I'm sorry, Trimble Access open, and I'm logged in as DPI Crew 2 here. And the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and create a new project. So I'll hit the new button there. Just call it Topo and the date. And then you can put in description, reference, location, image if you want to. I'm just going to do a name for it just to create that project folder. Enter and create that. And then since there's not a job in the project, it's going to uh, prompt me to go ahead and create a job there. So I'll just call it the same thing, Topo and today's date. And I'm working in U.S. Survey feet. I do want to set the coordinate system over to state plane because I'm going to be doing a GPS survey. So I'm in North Carolina, so I'll choose North Carolina 3200. Do you want to use a geoid model? Yes, geoid 18. I'm going to use grid coordinates for this, and my project height is around 350 feet. So I'll enter that in there, hit enter, and store that. Now, one other thing I like to do is go ahead and set my Kogo settings to grid as well. If I'm doing a grid job, I just want to be playing apples to apples there. So I'll accept that. Everything's set up. I've got a project folder with a name and a job all set up there. So I'll accept that. And now I'm, uh, I'm in Trimble Access, hooked up to my base station, ready to get going. So I'm just going to start the base up to get a point in the job so we have something to sync back to the office. So I will hit the... Menu button at the top left, go down to measure, choose my RTK and logging survey style because I'm just going to be doing a here position so I can log some data at the base as well to correct it later on. So we'll go to RTK and logging, start base receiver. And under the point name, I don't have a point in this job, so I'll tap the black arrow next to point name, go to key in, put a point number in, give it a code. And now hit the here button down here to populate the coordinates there. Store that, check my antenna height, check my measure to, and go ahead and start the base up. All right, so now I can go ahead and do some topo work with the rover, gather more data while I log data at the base, correct it up later on. Um, but for this example, I just wanted to get some information in the job so we have something to sync back to the office, okay? So to sync this from the field back to my guys in the office, I would go up to the menu at the top left, click on the project, and you'll see this other project that I did earlier has a cloud symbol and it's got a check, so that has been synced with the cloud. This one, the one we created on the data collector, just lives on the data collector. There's no cloud icon on it, no check mark, no need to download or upload because it just lives on the, uh, on the data collector here. So I will go to my three dots at the top right and tell it to upload that. And I'm, I'm using the North American server, and I want to make sure that I'm using my Connect business license there. So I'll click yes, and it went ahead and created the cloud project. Okay, so that's all it did was it created the project on the cloud. Now I need to go ahead and upload my job there. So I'll go ahead and go to open, highlight my job, and tell it to upload. Okay, so now the project and the job are on the cloud, but they're up there with my name. So if I want somebody else from the office to be able to access that project to download the data, I need to go ahead and invite them using their, uh, their email address, their Trimble ID, so they can log in to the sync manager or log into TBC and be able to pull that data into the office. So to do that, I'm gonna go back to my project and now that it's been uploaded, I've got sync settings. Earlier, this was gray. When I went to upload it, this was grayed out. I didn't have any sync settings because the project didn't exist on the cloud. But now that it's on the cloud, I can go to sync settings, click on the icon of the people up here, and go ahead and invite 
somebody in the office. So I'll invite DPI crew one. They have a license for connect there. Go ahead and set them up as an admin since they're in the office. That way they can clean up the files if they need to. And then I'll go ahead and hit the invite button. And just for good measure, I'll hit the sync down at the bottom, escape out of there. And now everything should be up on the cloud for them. So I'll go ahead and open up the uh, sync manager. And I am logged in as that DPI crew one. So this is the office. See, right now they only had the one project in there. But if I hit the sync button at the top, it went ahead and synced there. And you'll see it's on the cloud, but it needs to be downloaded to the sync manager. So I can click on that and that'll go ahead and download it to this account. And then once it's been downloaded, I can click on the job and download that here in the office and be ready to work on the project. Take just a second for it to convert it. You'll see it just has everything set up, state playing like we did in the field. It's just got the one point in it. I can go ahead and download that and I'll just throw it out to my desktop. And it went ahead and created a JXL, a job file. And then that was uh, a text file that was already on my desktop. So it went ahead and downloaded those and I could go to work with it. I'll close that, but that's just how easy it is to set up a project from the field perspective, do the project, do the job of the field and sync it back to the guys in the office.